All right, so we get a lot of requests for cocktails on our tours. Uh, we do predominantly brew tours in Dolo Brew Bus, but we're now expanding our base to cocktails, and we're going to head to our first stop at Nola Distilling, uh, brand new distillery off Chop Tula Street, real close to all the other breweries. Let's go check it out. Guys, we're here with Justin, the manager of Nola Distillery, one of the newest distilleries in New Orleans, uh, off Chop Tulis. We can now add these guys as one of our newest stops of a brew tour, potentially, if you're interested in that. We have a lot of people ask for cocktails on our tour, so this is now gonna fill that gap. Uh, Justin, you wanna give us a little bit of overview of your distillery and what kind of cocktails you guys offer? Yes, absolutely. Um, so, as most of you know, this used to be Nola Distilling Company. Now it's Nola Distillery Company. But we kept the past alive. So we kept their sweet potato vodka, their pepper vodka, but we also added five more brands of vodka along with a gin, a whiskey, a bourbon, a beer whiskey. Yeah, we have several products coming out we're very excited about and we're getting distribution throughout the United States. All right, so right here, we just pulled this down maybe two or three days ago, but it's beer whiskey. This is gonna be a stout beer mixed with a premium whiskey. And it's been aged, I believe, for a year and a year and a half. But let me get this soaked up here. And that's what beer whiskey looks like. Um, but yeah, so we have, I think, 10 to 15 different cocktails on our menu. We're about to get food into our distillery. And yeah, I don't know. We're pretty excited about the future. What's your favorite drink? Oh, my favorite drink. So what I really like to do, I like refreshing beverages, right? So I like to mix our hurricane and our pina colada and add a shot of rum to it and call it the Nola Vice. But there's also um, a drink that I really like. Have you all ever had cucumber water? Yeah, I love cucumber All right, water. so I like to do, we call it the cucumber fizz. And it's cucumber, so it's four triangles of cucumbers muddled with simple syrup. We add a splash of lime juice, and then we add vodka to it. And you can choose any vodka, or sweet potato vodka. We have a Mardi Gras vodka. It's a special edition. And uh, no, sometimes pepper vodka is good. It depends on the person. It's New Orleans, so everyone loves spicy. Uh, but it's very refreshing. You top it off with some soda water, and I don't know. It's just a good mid-afternoon drink that doesn't get you over the top, but it gets you to where you want to be. Nice. Uh, as part of uh, the Nola Brew Bus tour, the guys, you'll be able to exchange a token for a hurricane daiquiri made with locally distilled rum. Uh, what kind of rum is that that you guys use for that hurricane? Okay, so right now we're using our Nola Clear Rum, and we also mix it up sometimes with our Nola Distillery Rum. So that's another rum that used to be with Nola Distilling Company that we kept, but we also added another clear rum. Uh, and a lot of people like to add shots to their daiquiri. So we just came out with our new Pirate's Code Dark Room. And it was aged for a year and a half, I believe, and Jack Daniel barrels. Nice. So it's gonna have a distinct taste of that Jack Daniels, but it's gonna be more, it's gonna be rum. It's good, it's very nice. nice. Yeah, very nice. So Justin, anything else you wanna add to share with the folks that have not been to an old distillery yet that you may wanna convince them? I know you guys do craft cocktails as well. Uh, anything else you wanna throw in there? So because uh, we thrive on uh, Louisiana tradition, which is another line that we have, and our local people. We, I don't know, we opened up a couple of months ago, two, three months ago, and we had a lot of locals that came in and they were just like diehard fans of our stuff, so we actually can name a few cocktails after them. One being, he's actually became a friend of mine, his name's Mark Halliday, but it's called the Halliday, and it's rum, ginger, mint, and lime juice. Nice. It's delicious, it's refreshing, and it's light. Well, if you're in New Orleans looking for a cocktail or your own locally produced rum, uh, come to Nola Distillery off Chop Tulos. It's right up between Port Orleans and Nola Brewing. It's a perfect middle ground stop. For, uh, so next time you guys are looking for that cocktail instead of a beer, Nola Distillery is your spot.